So I already um, took off her gel. I pushed back her cuticle already, and I cut them down, unfortunately. I wanted to do long nails on Barbara, but I gotta wear them short. I don't know why. It did. So I'm going to use the unicorn bit and begin to lift up all that dry non-living tissue. This bit is so great, you guys, because look, it's not gonna cut. Oh, this song makes me want to put on a tracksuit with a sparkly oh, no. hat. <laughs> is the lighting okay, you guys? Too. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe I need to move the um this a little bit up higher. Is this better, you guys? Let me know in the comments. Focus camera. There we go. We're also going to clean out the inside too, so after we apply the happy gel and we file it, we're going to drill out all that inside of the phalange. Oh Barbara, they opened up this new restaurant on South Tucson. I heard the commercial yesterday. It sells Italian food, Mexican, and Chinese. I'm like, you need to pick which one you want to be. Are you serious? Yes, that Where? does not sound appetizing. It used to be the one that they closed down, the really famous one is Rigo's or one of those that had the Mexican buffet. They had a Mexican buffet? Mm-hmm. On the weekends in South Tucson. In the city of South Tucson? Yes, correct. So like on South 6 or South 4? I think what? South 6. Mm, I don't know. I think it was Rigo's, the one that used to have the, the mariachis on the weekend or something. I don't know. I don't know. I just did a set just like this, almost, on myself, the pastel butterflies instead. And Ooh. I did glitter and butterflies and caps, so she encapsulated it. Awesome! A fancy blend. Sounds exciting. Sounds like the fantasy. Mm -hmm. I gotta play some Lolita. Oh, what was it? Lolita? Lolita? Ooh, love sensation. That's such a good vibration. Lolita Holloway? Oh, yeah. Is it Lolita or Loletta? No. Uh, uh, Lita. Lolita. That one song, Love Sensation, is actually the most sampled dance song in the world. Is it really? Yes. That's amazing. But what a thunk, huh? Yeah. Even Marky Mark used it. Wow. For a song such a good vibration. Yeah. That's uh, Lolita. I think so. Yes. I think no. Okay. Russian manicure drill bits up. We're going to use a flame bit. Lift them a little shorter? Sure. So we're going to use a flame bit from the Russian manicure drill bit set and we're going to begin to clean out all that dry non-living tissue in the proximal fold. Those are some scientific terms for today. Oh wow, go Matt. Look at that you guys. So that way we have a really nice look. Because some people are like, that's not that critical. <laughs> so we're gonna show the girls what the cuticle is. So you know it's true. The Millie Vanilli? Girl, you know it's true. My love. I think what happened to them is just bad. It really is. And it was a good song! Most people don't even sing nowadays. They don't sing live. They're not singing. Even the ones that can sing live don't. 
Like Celine Dion, she doesn't sing like that every day. If she did, she'd probably have no voice left. Hey, Antonio. Hi. Thanks for joining us today. You guys, if we reach 100 views, we want to do a giveaway. We're so close to it. Yesterday, they said we did hit 100, but I didn't see it, so I couldn't confirm it for the giveaway. But Barbara's here, so she's going to pick the winner today, you guys. So let's do it. Yeah, let's get there. So we're using the Russian manicure drill bit set to go in and clean everything out. Girl, you know it's true. My love is forever. Barbara, what's H-Town like in the summer? Oops. Ew, is it really that bad? Really? Is it because it's a swamp? I don't know. No, it really is. That's why they call it the Bayou City. Yeah, that's true. So, that probably must be why. Because, I mean, it is really... Uh, how do you make the nail? Lauren wants to Witchcraft. <laughs> Voodoo. You're gonna watch today, Mama. Go to binge oh, watch some nice videos. Know, how do you make the nails sturdy? Line with thin. You got to customize it and tailor it. You can apply some press on gel on the inside of the nail and then a coat of shiny on top of that. You can do happy gel. There's so many um, options you can uh, have available to customize them. It really comes down to um, what's gonna work best for you or your client given the situation, given the length of the nail given also the length of the natural nail so you have all those things to take into consideration and then you would go back and say okay so i think this is what's going to work best for me do you know what i mean so it's kind of hard for me to say oh like this is going to work better for you or not because i don't know like the size of, the, of your nail the size of the um, artificial nail all that jazz but we have lots of videos demonstrating how to apply them and how to customize them so that way you don't have any issues and then me too, says, I love Happy Joe. Isn't it sickening? Lauren says, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Antonia says, you didn't hit 100 yesterday. I, don't, I didn't think so either. Somebody said we did, but I never saw it. I saw very close to 100, but I did not see the actual 100. Roses are the way to your home. Yeah, we can try today. Yeah. Let's do it, you guys. I know we can. So now we're going to take the diamond room bits. So how do you tear the nails? Oh, we're going to, we're going to, excuse me, overlay the whole nail. Oh, okay. With the happy gel. Hmm. in with the diamond moon bits. There's girls with screenshots out there. They sent them. Hmm. Oh, we're at 72. We're moving oh, up. We're close. Let's we're go. close. We're going to use the diamond moon bit now. That's correct. And it can't be for literally just one second. Like, we have to have 100 viewers. So we're going to use the diamond moon bit. And we are going to remove the dry, non-living tissue ever so gently in one direction, okay? It's almost like you're frosting a cake, you guys. See? Look at that. So that way we expose as much of the nail estate as possible and when you're taking the diamond moon bit to the skin you literally want to start all the way at the edge so that way we are able to get everything off nice and evenly you don't want to start on the nail bed you want to start at the edge and then take it all the way through always in one direction and make sure your drill bit is super clean that is so essential and I think a lot of times we forget that, that sometimes our bit will actually clog in the middle of a service. Hey, 
Podcast, and we're glad you're here. Hi, thanks for joining Hi. us today. Malik is watching. Hi. Just making sure everyone understood the, the rules. rules. The rules of the game. Look how beautiful that dry non living tissue just rolls right off. It doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. You know how sensitive would have kicked me already. I would have felt it. There you go. So remember, when you're doing what they call either a Russian manicure or a hardware manicure, you want to go back, push, 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 push. Do you have a booth at Premier Orlando this year? I will not, no. I no. actually, no. I honestly, you guys, to be honest with you, realty, I don't think that trade shows are what they used to be. And they are, for me as a company, they are such a huge expense to uh, break even. Mm. So I'd rather do a class, something a little bit more intimate for the girls, something where um, people can learn, something where I can uh, reach out and touch someone. How does the song go? Reach out and touch somebody's hand. There you go. Make this world a better place. If you can. <laughs> um, Janie wants to know, have you thought about doing refill bags? She says, I run out of size 4 and 5 all the time. Um, that is something we are considering uh, within maybe the next 2 or 3 years, uh, given uh, our location because of the size of our, of our factory and our warehouse and mm -hmm. our production. Mm -hmm. um, if we move to a bigger location, uh, then yes, it's something definitely we are considering. But first we gotta decide if we're going to move and where we're gonna move and the place. Because right now, as many of you know, or many of you imagined, I did want to move to Dallas because that's why I went out so much to the Big J. I went twice to go look at properties, but due to inflation, the properties are just so inflated right now, it's not worth it. Because if I moved, that is right. Because if we moved, we would have to raise the pricing in order to be able to uh, accommodate a you know a nine ten million dollar uh, loan. And we don't we want to keep our prices as competitive as possible for everyone to make sure everybody has an affordable product. Plus, I, I saw lots of like warehouses that were like five, six million dollars and they needed like new roofs or like there was cracks in the foundation or whatever. And I was oh, like, yeah, that's no, not it. No. That's not it. And because everybody's moving to Texas right now, they're asking like these really like astronomical prices. They're really taking advantage of uh, mm -hmm. the huge influx of people moving to Texas. Um, okay, not just five minutes. I heard you Yes, I did, and in the former Soviet Union in Russia, because they train you to be a champ, mm -hmm. and they train you to win, and they train you to point out your mistakes and improve on them. I'm sorry. The lowest speed possible on the machine. People want to listen to this song more often nowadays. You gotta free your mind, Barbara. But that's not the thing. They cleaned it up. Oh really? Yeah, it doesn't. It does say it's in your mind and your ass. Oh, your your bum? Your ass. 
Oh, wow. I don't want to get demonetized, Barbara. Yeah, but they say it all the time on TV. They don't believe that anymore. Or the B word. I know. Clean these fingers. I didn't know who that was. <laughs> Have a set of your square Portman on now. I love your product. Oh, thank you. Getting another order together now. That's Jackie. Thank you. Hi. Do you remember Jack Hay, Barbara? Oh, yeah. She was so funny, wasn't she? Oh, she was hilarious. She was on um, To Tell the Truth. Was she really? Mm -hmm. um, last week. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a little coat of nail prep over the entire nail. So these were originally, I think they are the mini sculpted almond. And we cut them down because they grew out because we did these nails on Juneteenth. So they were on for a little while already. And then we're going to do one coat of nail primer. Just in case you put your cuticles because they are thick. Yes, Antonia, you know me. <laughs> she wants everything Bye. gone. They're much better than they were, right? Man? Yes, Barbara's cuticles were actually a lot more moist now. And that is because Barbara has been testing uh, our new um, BBC. Bye Bye Cuticle Cream, or Barbara Brown Cuticle Cream. <laughs> which will be coming out later this year. So she te she's actually testing one ver uh, variant of it, and my mom tested the other, actually. We're gonna use our Happy Gel brush today for the fantasy. I think she was on the Disney show. Wasn't she on Sister Sister? Yeah, she was on Sister Sister. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take a little bit of Happy Gel. This color, you guys, is the bee's knees. This is a good song. kids with Madonna have nowadays? Like 10? So many. Does she really have that many kids? Yeah, she's adopted a quite a few. She's adopted a quite a few kids, right? She adopted like, I know she adopted at least two kids in Africa, right? Mm-hmm. A really cute little girl. So Happy Gel is a hybrid product. So it's like acrylic and gel had a baby. It has a strength and the stability of acrylic with the flexibility of gel and absolutely completely odor free look at that that is correct yeah. oh and Tony says no she only has five she has two of her own or two biological Two with the dancer and three from Africa. Her son is from uh, Guy Ritchie, the movie director. Yeah. And her daughter's from a uh, uh, Cuban guy. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's using. We're so close. Come on, you guys, you can do it. Like and share. Post it in your favorite group. It's early, Barbara. I know. You gotta get ready for the club tonight. Hey. Wait, it's Wednesday. It's no. ladies' night. <laughs> no, no, this is for me. It's what? Prayer meeting. Is that what they call it nowadays, the kids? No, no just most churches always have prayer meeting or Bible study mm. on Wednesday nights. And you got the club. Hey. Hush Supper Club, or what was the name of the club that your uh, nephew's on? Hush. Hush. Is it still around? Oh, yeah. They moved to a new location. Oh. Uh, uh, 
Almanac. Oh wow. Oh, kind of where I used to be then. Right across from where you On the other side of the bridge. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. How long have they been there? Have you gone to go shake I've, it there I've yet? Been a couple of times, yes. I went for Friday night fish fry. Ooh. And the and the cook was so good that he he uh, fried some uh, tilapia because basically they have catfish. I don't like catfish. <laughs> Isn't that a bottom feeder fish? Mm -hmm. I don't like tilapia. Me and my sister. I like um, salmon, trout. I do like some trout. Flounder is pretty good. Swordfish is really good too. The sweetest, best tasting fish. Orange roughy is really good too. Oh, I like orange roughy. I haven't thought about that in a long time. You're right. Swordfish, you like your swordfish? choice of what they're cooking. They just ask you what you're going to do. And how many people in your party go have a seat? Yeah, well, I don't know, it was like 1,500 or 2,000. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's like a Michelin star restaurant. Oh, serious, serious. And he, he cooked swordfish when I was there. Beautiful. It was Speak it for a minute. It was so delicious. Like it I almost passes a steak if it's done well, isn't yes. it? Can't it? Press that number four if you guys like to use some swordfish. Do you think one, two, three nails will replace acrylic in time? Um, I think there's a time and place for everything. And I think there's a market for everything, but I do think that the one, two, three go is the way of the future. Especially, I've explained this many, many times in many videos, it is less physical strain on your body because you don't have to apply so much, you don't have to file so much. Sculpting nails, of course, is a is an art, and it is um, it is the OG method. But yeah, that's what Antonio just said. She said, "No, acrylic is the OG." <laughs> but I mean, if after doing acrylics for 20 years, you're gonna have some back problems, you're gonna have some shoulder problems, some some arthritis, some rheumatoid, and the one, two, three, go. Just I mean, they're already done and they're already perfect and they're already consistent. We're gonna bake it just a little bit longer. Oh, that's okay, we're gonna file that off. It really just makes everything fast, and easy, and perfect, and consistent, and that's what we want. Because time is money. Say it with me, you guys. Time is money. That is so true. Because people, at the end of the day, for example, if you do nails in a salon, right? Your clients don't wanna sit there for three or four hours for one set, because oh. that's not the gig. And you're not making money. I mean, people say, oh, you know, I charge $200 and it takes me three hours. Sweetie, you're not making that much money because divide three by uh, three hours divided by $200. So how much is that per hour, Barbara? What, what, what? So if you charge your client $200 and it takes you three hours. Oh, yeah. That's what, $75 so, an hour? Yeah, about. Minus all your supplies and everything oh, like that. Yeah. It, it, it's less than that. Mm -hmm. It's 60 something an hour. With one, two, three, go. You can probably do the same uh, sets in, a, I would say, in probably half the time. So that way you can fit more people in one day. And you can charge the same. <laughs> you can take it out now, my dear. So we're just removing the oxygen inhibition layer. Look at that, you guys. So here she messed it up a little bit. That's okay. We're going to file it off anyway. So let's get a brand new fantastic file. No, this is good because you need to show them that. How to fix it. Mm -hmm. So that's what happens when a, when the nail uh, bumps the inside of the lamp. Yes. Yeah. 
shabu 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 Oh, this is a really good song too. Yeah, isn't it? This is I a good heard jam. It in a long There you go, see, look at that. Nice and like it never happened. For what? It takes a lot to develop those stickers. So that's true. Well, somebody said, can you do stickers with inspirational quotes? Um, I, I never thought about it actually. For stickers, we want to keep the messages usually pretty neutral and stuff that's easy to say in other languages as well too because our products sell all over the globe so we, want to, we don't want to say something um, either too religious or too... Uh, even though I personally am a religious person I don't want us to do something that's too religious or that has to deal too much with like for example the occult or with paraphernalia or uh, certain lifestyles or things like that so we gotta keep the terms pretty general <laughs> for long quotes. That is true. But like what kind of quote do you mean? Like don't ask what your country can do for you, but what can you do for your country? Yeah, that's too long. <laughs> <laughs> do you sell the armrest? Yes oh. we do, of course. Yeah. That armrest is selling like fire too. You better snatch her up before she's sold out. I'm Everybody totally loves the armrest. So and it makes a huge difference, especially for um the strain on the shoulders. Make sure that the sides are nice and straight and tapered. So I would love to know what kind of like inspirational quote you're you would kind of like uh, be interested in, and I would uh, you know take it back and storm brainstorm about it. That's right. We only use the best. Enochatour.com, the bomb.com. Uh, Rosie wants to know what credits is one, two, three, go. She said, I came in like. Yes, this is a uh, originally an active uh, mini sculpted almond, but uh, we did a fill with Happy Gel. We haven't used Happy Gel in a while and I really wanted to show something uh, that was completely odor free for the girls that want to do the sculpting, that want to do the shaping, or how to do a fill with Happy Gel on the 1, 2, 3, Go without a um, smell. Because I know acrylic is for some people, is a, the smell is a deal breaker. Yeah, I can see that. Especially like if you're in a, like a, you rent space like kind of like an office type building or a mm -hmm. medical building mm -hmm. and you can't have the smell, this is a great alternative. Because it literally smells like um, watermelon. So we're going to use a pink carrot bit to shake the phalanges. Yeah, you know you could do a fill for one piece of the donut. Yeah, we have a few videos actually on how to fill it. Right. You can fill it with um, press-on gel, but today we just did it with a uh, heavy gel. You can fill it with acrylic, just to show variety to the girls. This song reminds me of the movie for Silicon of the Desert. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Such a good movie, too. I never saw that movie. You've never seen for Silicon of the Desert? Have That's you seen Tu Wong Fu with, Jeff Julie New with Love Julie Newman? I did. Where uh, Patrick Swayze and uh, Wesley Snipes are drag queens? 
Yes. So it was loosely based on Priscilla Queen of the Desert. Oh. Which is a Australian movie. Big shout out to all my Aussies. That's where the term woman comes from. <laughs> because he sells a face product called Woman. Woman. Uh -huh. <laughs> woman. Oh, yeah. And it has a drag queen on the bottle of it. It was really funny. Oh, okay. Somebody else something, and I'm telling you, he's got thousands of videos. All his products are interchangeable, and they're all made in America. And Priscilla stars Hugo Weaving. <laughs> Such a good movie. Mm. You can watch it for free too. Really? Yeah. yeah. I think they have it for like on uh, certain streaming platforms on TV. I think that's where I've seen it. Or maybe it's on Netflix, I don't remember. But I don't have Netflix anymore. I haven't had Netflix in a while. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. I just uh, never repaid my... Uh, I changed credit cards or I changed the number for something like that. Oh, and I never changed it. Never. And it, just, it ended and I never renewed it. Plus, I don't like the original content on Netflix too. I think it's so boring. I don't even know who half those people are on those on those original programs, shows or movies. I'm like, I don't know who this is, never mind. What is what he says, Tony. <laughs> what? He said, Lordy, Lordy. Why? Okay, Margaret is saying some of the things. Oh! So, like, uh, she said, smile, be happy, don't worry. Tomorrow, I, 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 I know that you're going to be happy. Yeah. Um, I know that you're going Some of our stickers have sayings like that already, actually. No? Mm hmm. So, check them out on the website. We have over 195 stickers. It's a lot of stickers. So we're going to use the pink magic wand bit just to go in and refine everything. So I'm just going in and refining everything really gently, making sure everything is nice and smooth, there's no lumps or bumps, everything is blended. This song sounds funny, played super fast. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Do you know which one it is though? Because um, you love, you did me wrong, yes. you didn't know what to do. I didn't know it first though. It sounds weird fast, doesn't it? Beautiful. So now we're going to turn the hat upside down. We're going to clean out the inside. Jody Wally. Jody Wally. Really? Wow. How? Really? Is she from uh, here or from Chicago? Really?
Wow, you better call her up over and say, hey, you got a cousin over here and you got the body and you're ready to shake it on camera. I'm going to use a 180 just to refine everything, make sure the sides are nice and straight. We did a fill on top of 123 Go Set using Happy Gel. It just made it look brand new. Okay, Margaret asks, what do you think is the biggest challenge to pulling a nail from? Ooh, that's a really good question. That's very good. There's a lot of them. And I think the biggest problem is, uh, for me, was staffing. Yeah, I would have to say. Finding people to work is probably the hardest uh, problem when owning a salon. Mm-hmm. Because you can't run a salon just yourself. If you want to have a successful salon that generates money by itself too, you can't do it by yourself. You have to have a, a team and it's really hard to build a good team in a salon. Or just the, I think in any environment too. Yes. <laughs> and also, a lot of people don't have the same work ethics that you might have as well, too. And it's hard to find someone who does. Mm-hmm. You may think, after an interview and everything, that that's the case, then you come to work and... Or you'll have a lot of people that are just looking to uh, build up their clientele and then they bounce, which I mean is part of the nature of the beast. Yeah, that's true. But I think loyalty is a big thing, so. Because my salon was in the hood. Like, I didn't want a pretentious, big, fancy salon with like. Um you know, on the fancy side of town because then those people wouldn't have gotten fancy nails, they wouldn't have done fun nails, they probably no. just would have done manis and petties and right. gel polishes. Boring. <laughs> Boring, exactly. Can I get some sport length white tips? That's not what I wanted to do. But then again, because of the area I was in, I had a lot of people that, you know, were cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, for lack of a better term. <laughs> oh my god, they're so dope. I remember I had one person call on the phone one time, and they're like, how much is your full set? And I can't remember what it was. I think for me, it was $40 at the time, and this was years ago, so that was a lot of money for people. And then the lady was like, well, I got 25 and I was like, well, I can do one hand. <laughs> that was such a great response. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh,
Oh, and then the worst is like you're, they're, you're doing their nails and they start like picking at them or like oh, you're missing here or something like that. Oh, that was the worst. I'm like, can I do my job, please? Yeah, I'm not finished. <laughs> you gotta trust the process. Or so and so does it like this. Can you do it like? Well, I'm not so and so, sweetie. So you need to go to them. Yes. <laughs> Ready to begin the fantasy, the design. So let's push back that cuticle one more time. And everybody dressed like that. When people start looking like you. Mm -hmm. Do you want the silver glitter on the same two fingers, Barbara? Or do you want me to move it over? Uh, the Let's move it over just to uh, give some dimension. So this is Fungel 55. This is a full coverage one coat glitter. That color. Oh. So these colors, because they are so pigmented and so rich, you almost want to put them on like you're frosting a cake. So that way we get that full coverage glitter fantasy. I wonder what Madonna thought of Michael Jackson. That would have been really interesting. Because I think they only met once. I did see a really interesting documentary on Michael Jackson though on Netflix. It was called Return to Neverland. Have you heard about it, Barbara? Yes, I have. Did you watch it? What did you think? Do you think that what those people are accusing him of is slightly true? Or has any... No. I, I still have not come to any conclusion. Look at that color, you guys. So rich. So I'm moving the glitter around because it is so pigmented. I want it to be very, very smooth and seamless. So I want to make sure that all the bigger glitters are closer towards the center of the nail and not so much to the edge. So that way it keeps the nail skinny mini. She's got to have her Spanx on. We don't want the nail looking fat. Beautiful. So let's just go ahead and pop that in for 30 seconds. Barbara Mosley. Father Brown's back in town. Oh, it's okay. So now before we put the stickers on, I like to do a thin coat of shiny. I'm gonna cure it for only 30 seconds because what that's going to do is create like almost like a rubberized textured surface. So that way the stickers stick on like crazy.
super thin. Okay. Even just like that, it looks so pretty too, doesn't it? Super yeah. natural. Okay, 30 seconds, my dear. Which one? I'm going to use our hologram stickers today, okay? Let's get our tweezers. I actually got a new pair of tweezers because Gloria bent my old ones. So make sure you keep the plastic cap for the tweezers to keep them nice and sharp. Margaret said, Max, would you like to go to space next? A Bezos will Bezos. make that possible. Would I like to go to space? Um, not really. There's nothing up there. Yeah, they're beautiful. Let's do a half wing on this one. Would you like to go to space, Barbara? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna do a half wing. Because I'm gonna do a big one. Ooh. So there was this video that I stumbled across upon on YouTube, and it is about the Russians. God bless them. The Soviet Union was so, in, like, I don't think people realize how uh, ingenious the Soviet Union was and how far advanced and how many things that they did that were like, whoa. You know, we were, uh, they were the first ones in space. We were the first ones on the moon, but they were the first ones in space. Mm -hmm. And they were the first ones to send something into space. They send a monkey or a bear or a dog, something like that. So. They, after they, I think after the U.S. went to uh, the moon, they sent a probe to Venus, mm. and it took pictures, and it actually also recorded sounds of Venus. Mm. And I heard it, and I thought to myself, you know, this is a planet where no one's ever heard before, and we're hearing the sounds of Venus. Yeah. And it just like took my breath away. Mm. And it was, what, I was like, whoa, man, those Russians. Mm. And it sounded really interesting too, because I was like, wow, the power of of God and he created this planet where it's a constant thunderstorm year round. Yeah. Oh, is that what it sounded Yeah. Like? And rocks falling in the background, it was really cool. Mm -hmm. Remember if the sticker's too close to the edge, just give her a quick little trim. Oh, that looks that big wing butterfly, isn't that pretty? So, yeah, that was a really like cool sound to hear the sound mm. of Venus, and actually a little scary, too. Yeah. Do you think we're alone, Barbara? Oh, no, there's too much going on. Do you think they would look like us? Do you think they would look like us or not really? Because the Bible says the Lord created us in His image. That's true. That movie about the alien abduction that happened here in Arizona. Fire in the sky. Have you seen that? No? Let us know in the comments below if you guys have seen Fire in the Sky. I'm 
nice red and pink flag all one after another. I was so excited to see your video with speaking on your teeth. I swear by your product. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, the Soviet Union did a lot of stuff. No, those days are long gone. My husband had a lesson based on the movie. Wow, really, Antonio? That's interesting. And now I'm just adding some hologram silver accents around just to fill in the fantasy, give it some dimension. Mm -hmm. Are you going to go to Sissy's house, Kavino? Today? Why is that funny? Go party! Go live yeah, with... She, party she parties every day. Sassy, the one that was in Playboy that works here? Oh. The tall, um, uh, caramel-like girl. Oh. She was just here. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna give you anxiety. Yeah. So that's your little coat of shiny. Oh, this is a good song, Barbara. Little coat of hey. shiny. This is Franken song. Chicago. Is she from Chicago? I don't know if she is or not. But we used to spank to this. We would dance and it was called the spank. The spank? Mm -hmm. You gotta show us on camera how you how do the spank. No. <laughs> this takes it back. To be real. Then a little Prisma glitter. She does. The butterfly or what? No. But extra. You're too busy doing the spank barber, that's why. What if you ain't got no butt? <laughs> I don't have a butt. You, you, you hit what you hit. You hit what you. The void. Coverage pre made gel nails for the fantasy. Oh, Barbara, do you believe in psychics? We were talking about this earlier today at work. Oh, really? Yeah. I just think... Or like palm reading, have you had your palm rat or anything like that? I do. Mm-hmm. Um, none of it came true. Really? Mm -hmm. It did for the other person that was with me. Or oh, do you think they were more like along the, along the lines of it being a coincidence? Yeah. 
No, not necessarily, but uh, I have had my palm read in three different countries on three different occasions and they said the same thing. Really? Yes. Oh, that's interesting. But I also think it's things that are like um, probably like really easy to tell about me too. Mm -hmm. So I don't know necessarily like they were really reading my palm or mm -hmm. just uh, reading me. Right. Tony says, no, she thinks they're all crooks. Kathy says, your products are awesome, Max. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Beautiful. Shine everyone how they do that. Ooh, oh, I wow. wanna check that out. That sounds really too. cool. Me too. Ooh, I saw this one YouTube video where this guy he would go after scammers. Mm -hmm. And it was really cool. Like they would call him and he would like literally he would hack into their computer system mm -hmm. and see what they were doing and then he would tell them like, oh you know, you're in so and so place and things like that. Mm -hmm. And the people would just pee their pants. Let's pick that wow. 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, he sounded like the guy from the taken movies too. Mm-hmm. Wow. Lena, have you ever had your palm read? Really? What'd they say? Really? Oh, that's hope great. Yeah. Gee, thanks. Still alive though. I would have thought she said, oh, you know, you're gonna be a famous rapper. With long nails and big eyelashes. Like a fan lashes. Yes. So now we're gonna do a nice coat of Wonder Gel to seal the entire fantasy. Antonio says, after what happened with my dad, how has yours been? Well, he's there. Very, very erratic mood swings, to be honest with you. And I think that might be part of this, the, you know, the chemical imbalance from the stroke, too. Well, typically, almost everyone who's had a stroke, uh, a severe stroke, goes on some kind of psychotropic drug. Well, my dad needs to get on one. Well, uh, why hasn't his neurologist prescribed it? Because he probably thinks he's doing great. No, 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 no. And his speech is horrible. It's so frustrating, to be honest. Well... Does and he go for therapy? He, therapy? Well, he doesn't want to go anymore now. And they get so stubborn. They do. And, and he's like, they, I don't want to go. Make them. Nope. He doesn't want to do anything. All he wants to do is sleep all day. Yeah. You need to get a hold of his neurologist for some psychotropic drugs. Seriously. Something to make him feel groovy. Well, not to make him feel groovy. Bye, Lena. Needs it. Don't party too much, Lena. You gonna go out tonight? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. From all your partying tonight. <laughs> Man, I haven't partied in a long time. Yeah. No, I'm not at my age. I'm too old. Bye. Oh yeah, right. I think the last time I partied, I got back at like nine o'clock in the morning. The oh next really? Day. Yeah. Look at that, so beautiful. Let's take it for one minute until the dead wind goes away. But I can probably can't do that anymore. I think that like at 10 I'm like, I'm done. Really? I'm ready to go to bed. No, I'm, I, I'm a night owl. I figured you were. I am, but I'm also working constantly though. Oh. So like if I'm at home, I'm working on like new designs, new stickers, new... Mm -hmm. other things. Looking at warehouse properties, investments. My stock is doing really well actually. Yeah. You want problem? No, 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 the stock I buy. Oh, the stock. Yeah. Because remember I was telling you I think I should sell my Procter & Gamble stock? Yeah. No, you Johnson & Johnson, no, sorry. Johnson Johnson. Yeah, because they have two lawsuits on them. They have the, the talcum powder one, the baby powder one. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is... Uh, the other one is the... For the opiates. Yeah, for the opiates. So I told... I told Wait, my well, who is that that has the one for the suntan lotion? I haven't heard about that one. 
See, the thing about Johnson & Johnson is it, not only, it doesn't own just one company. It owns like 100,000 companies. Let's do that thumb for a little bit longer. <laughs> We're almost done. Beat it! So for the talcum powder, what my um, portfolio manager told me that they were going to do was they were going to like create a new entity and then hand the lawsuit over to that entity so that entity right. can go bankrupt. But for the opioid uh, lawsuit, they have to pay out $5 billion. It's a lot of money. And I don't want my little 10 shares that I own to be part of that. Plus, I heard a lot of things about their vaccine, too, that got a lot of negative. It did. It did. I don't think they did the efficacy that they needed to do for that. Well, they pumped it out really quickly, too. Yeah, well, even though they came out quickly, you know, I have to understand that these people have been working on this for a long time. Mm -hmm. So it's only a little tweak for COVID-19 strain. Mm -hmm. It's only a little tweak for... The next variant or whatever. It's not like they have to start from the beginning, you know. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I can dig it. So I'm just going to take a 240 right now. Just go over the edges, make sure she's nice and skinny and mini. And they tested it, I think, like on 30,000 or 40,000 people from what I heard. Mm -hmm. Oh, it feels like glasses, right? These nails feel so smooth. Yeah, they're good. But they're silver. And then we're gonna add a little bit of cotton candy cuticle oil and we're ready to rock and roll. No, the color was 55. Find your 55. And that's going to be a wrap, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little design. I love you guys so, so much. Stay safe, stay out of trouble.